People have been heeding the warnings from state and city officials all across the tri-state area to head home early because of the snow. But if people are still on the roads, it is slow going. No one knows that more than our Wuja Jang in one of our Mobile 2 units on the LIE. She's been in the car for hours. Well, Dana, we left the broadcast center at 57th and 10th Avenue on the west side at 3.30, just about there. And it took us two and a half hours just to get out of the city onto the LIE. Here we are in Nassau County, and it is a mess. Take a look in front of me. Even though we're just seeing flurries right now, you can see a thick sheet of slush and snow that we're driving on and what you can't see are the lines anymore so everyone is squeezed on just trying to figure out their bearings and stay out of the way of the plows you see right to our right because they are trying to get as much done as possible before we really feel the brunt of the storm as you mentioned, everyone was trying to get out as soon as possible because they know when 11 o'clock hits, no one can be on the roads in 13 counties and the city. Of course, that includes Nassau and Suffolk County here on Long Island. And the governor says, we want to remind you, if you are caught driving, it's a misdemeanor and possibly a $300 fine. So this is very serious. We just passed some stalled out cars. We passed a uh, tractor trailer that was stuck on the road, even though there's a ban on those right now. So there is a lot to navigate through. Through as people try to make their way home. Just be very safe because, again, what you see is a lot of slush right in front of us. For now, we are live in Mobile 2. Weija Jang, CBS 2 News. Thank